All right, so in today's video, we're not gonna be wasting any time. In today's video, I'm gonna show y'all how to install the RSI and the MACD on TD Ameritage Thinkorswim. But since I already have the RSI and the MACD on here right now, uh, before I show y'all how to install it, I'm gonna show y'all how to take it off. So we're actually gonna do it a little bit backwards, but in order to get started, we're gonna start off by going to studies, then we're gonna hit edit studies, and then we're just gonna take off the RSI and the MACD. And then you're gonna hit okay. And then as you can see, it's gone and just like that, uh, it's just the chart and the volume. So now that we've taken that off, let me show y'all how we're going to put them back on. So in order to put it back on, you're gonna do almost the same thing. You're gonna go back to studies. You're gonna to go to edit studies. And then over here, you can either scroll to the bottom and find what you're looking for, but I'm just gonna type it in. So we're looking for the RSI, and then you see the RSI right here. I'm gonna double click, and it is, as you can see, it's been added over here. So I'm gonna hit okay. And as you can see, we now have that RSI down there. Okay, so now we're gonna do it one more time, and this time we're going to type in MACD. And then double click on the MACD and then hit OK. And all right, now we have the MACD down here and the RSI. And for those of you watching this video who have no idea what the MACD and the RSI do, be sure to click on the card above. I'll have a video explaining exactly what they do and how they're used. And yeah, if you found the video helpful and enjoyed anything, please be sure to smash the like button. It really helps to support the channel. And if for some reason you're new here, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content or giveaways. And last but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching and peace.